Hi, this is Josh Henry. I'm a bow maker and restorer of bows for violins, violas, cellos, and basses. This is my first Instagram live post, so thank you for joining me. I wanted to um, do this tonight because I, I just got a box in the mail, and uh, we're going to do a live unboxing and a demonstration. Um, I'd hope to do this uh, with a colleague over in uh, Washington State, uh, Chris, at, at Lion Punch Forge, but um, he got called away. So we're just going to proceed without him. Maybe, I hope, he might be able to join us a little bit later. So um, what, what I wanted to talk about tonight is a tool that I recently acquired and it's made by a company called Pepe Tools and what this is is a ring bender it's made for the jewelry trade and uh, I, I was fascinated by this because one of the things we do in bow making is we make buttons, uh, to the tightening knobs to, to uh, tighten bows and one of the hardest parts is taking a one millimeter thick sheet of silver and, and making a, a small diameter cylinder tube like that. So I was watching some of the videos uh, on uh, Instagram and Facebook and YouTube from Pepe. Uh, and I, I called up, I called up uh, David over at Pepe Tools and said, this is a great tool. But... I need it to be able to make some smaller rings. As it comes, the rings that, that come with it range from 12 millimeter die up to about 22 millimeters. So these are made as, as you know the tool is made for making jewelry rings, but what it, what it does, so you can put that in there with the matching matching um, uh, form there and when you turn this it comes together and you can you can put your silver in there and it bends it into a semicircle or a full circle or whatever you want so this this is mounted slightly off center so when you turn it it pushes forward so as I mentioned that's the smallest round that comes with this tool but this is what I want to make. That's a 12 millimeter post and what I needed was about a 6 millimeter post. So um, as it comes there's a 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and 22 millimeter posts and dies. Also a, a square 90 and then a diamond shaped 60 degree here. And then it comes with these Delrin um, pushers uh, that keep you from marring and marking up your silver. So that's what we're going to start with. I have not seen this yet. This box just arrived in the mail today. And uh, I've, I've just seen a, a three-dimensional CAD drawing of this. So I'm very excited to see what is now being produced by Pepe Tools as the nano set of of uh, posts and dies for the ring bender. So let's see what we got. Okay, let's see. Oh, I also ordered an ingot mold because I want to experiment with melting and casting silver. Uh, so here is here is what I'm hoping. Let's see what we've got. Nicely packed. All right. So it looks like we've got some shrink wrap to, that holds it all together. So that that's nice. So things don't get all disrupted in shipping.
Okay, so this is the brand new nano set, the number 301 underscore nano that fits the ring bender. So we've got a 6, a 7, an 8, a 9, and a 10 millimeter post now with the matching dies. Now these are Delrin, so they're, they're it's a very hard synthetic, and um, so I've, I've uh, not used these. Obviously this is the very first time I've ever seen these, so this is a, a beautiful base. It's machined aluminum and anodized with laser engraved uh, letters. Um, looks like some laser engraved sizes on the on the posts and dies as well. So let's see let's see what let's see what this can do. In the in the last in the last few days I've used the ring bender to actually make some some ferrules for, for violin bows. I did the curved part on the 12 and the 14 millimeter posts. So I'm very excited to see to see how this goes. So let me um, let me get set up here. Actually, first before I do this, I I need to cut some silver. So another another Peppy Tools another Peppy Tools uh, absolutely incredible. Um, tool is this six inch bench shear. I normally have it bolted down on on a table but I, I moved it over for this demonstration. Okay. I actually modified this uh, here about uh, six weeks ago. It was one of my lockdown projects. I took off the original depth gauge and I, I, I made a few pieces and added this digital digital gauge here. So let's see. Let me. I made some notes so I would wouldn't have to remember while I'm talking. So we're going to do some uh, cello buttons. So I'm going to set the depth here to just about 15 millimeters. Lock it down. This is 18 gauge sterling silver, so it's one millimeter thick. I say I normally have that bolted down on a on a table over there. Okay. So millimeters. So I just cut I just cut the material for two buttons and this is what I will be putting into a cylinder to make one of these. Now, I do need to do one thing in, in order to prep for the solder join. I'm just going to slightly relieve the edge that's where I saw her. Move this down a little bit. Thank you everybody for joining so far and uh, 
Maybe at the end, uh, I can look over questions if there's any. Which one was I saw? There it is. This is the one I was filing. There we are. So all I'm doing is taking that edge from about 90 degrees and just slightly undercutting it down to maybe 85 degrees or so. So when I bring it around, it won't, um, there, there'll be room for solder in there. Okay, so I'm going to mark the X on the one side that's the inside. So, one thing I've done to the Peppy Tools ring bender is I added a quick release on the bottom so that I can mount it onto my new concepts bench pen um, and move it in and out of the way really quick. I have quite a number of tools that I've adapted to this little, uh, little device. So with cello buttons I'm going to use a 7 millimeter. And I put the X on the inside, which is where, where I want the, um, where I want it. So I'm just going to start gently. Okay. This works a little differently than. than the larger dies. I think what I might do is I'll take the smallest one to get it get it more into a circular shape first. going to kind of work my way down because I, I was feeling a little bit of flex on that so I didn't want to I didn't want to push it all the way so I'm just kind of working my way down the size So that was the 10. Let's go down. Let's go down just a little more. Now on the on the instructions for a lot of the the jewelers they they actually use longer sheets so you have more leverage and things, um, and then cut to length once it's once it's in there. These are some of the tools that I've used in the past to make make these rings. So I'm I'm, I'm just beginning to get a little bit of flaring. So I wanna I wanna take. Take these and just kind of true it up a little bit. So this is the problem I've always had with one millimeter thick silver is it in the small diameters it is difficult to bend it into a into a nice uh, nice tube. Uh, this is why let me, let me just show you. This is why 
silver tubing like this is often used instead because it's it's easy all you have to do is just cut it to length but it is nice to be able to to make make your own all right so that was the 10 I'm gonna go down I'm just gonna keep going down and get that get that cylinder smaller in size Almost, almost there just kind of bringing it in so the the theory behind the Delrin is that it's much softer than the steel and so it doesn't mark up and mar mar jewelry so um, all right so that was the eight now let's go back to the seven I can tell I'm going to have to practice with this a little bit. Uh, this is, like I say, a brand new out of the box tool. So, all right. just straighten it up a little bit. This is the smallest available. This is the number six. And what I want to do is I want to try to close up that gap. So this is going to take a little bit of practice in figuring this out. But I'm very, very excited to have worked with Pepe Tools to um, take one of their existing tools and 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 uh, bring it into the world of uh, bow making uh, with a smaller diameter set. So that was the demonstration that I wanted to do today. And um, we, uh, again, I apologize that uh, Chris at Lion Punch was not able to uh, join us today. Um, I look forward to uh, doing something with him again. He's quite a character, so that'll be um, that'll be that'll be uh, coming up in the future again. So let me let me just kind of take a minute and scroll back if I can. If if there were any questions or anything, um, if you have any any questions, just type it in, and um, I'll see if I can address that real quick. So let's see. All right. Well, I'm not uh, seeing any questions in there, but I do, I do thank you for joining me and uh, look forward to, um, to using this. Uh, <laughs> just got a question from Peppy Tools, the the manufacturer of this, uh, asking how I liked them. Well, I I liked them. I think it's a great addition. Uh, like I said, it's going to take a little bit of, of figuring out how to use them. Uh, I was feeling a little bit of flex on the Delrin, uh, pushing them. That's why I went up to the larger size and came down. So uh, I think it's a great tool. I just uh, need to use it a little bit more. Uh, once again, this was a demonstration of the Peppy Tools ring bender. The whole thing here. The number 30100A uh, and uh, with the brand new set of nano set of dies.
Thank you very much.